Hello. Welcome to Reverend on the Road. This is Pastor Brenda Peterson, and this is Staying Busy with the Pastor. Here we are standing in the northeast part of Texas, where we purchased a one-acre piece of property just north of Sulphur Springs, Texas. And uh, we have a lot of things to do on this property. We started some weeks ago already, and then we decided maybe we'd bring you aboard and let you see what we are doing and what we have done, what we're going to do. And so right behind us is a piece of property that we started clearing. And we started clearing this, this whole section before the trees and everything. And uh, then the surveyor tells us that this is not our property and so we have cleared it for nothing but luckily we didn't get that far into it before we um, realized our mistake our property is actually that direction and I'm gonna take you over there now here I am now standing on our property line which is right about where I'm standing but if you look very closely you might be able to see all the way through to a far pink line. There's one hanging in the tree and then one on a stake way down there. We cleared that section so we could mark the property line right there. And so we've done some work in here to clean it up. And we've got some piles of, of straw and leaves and, and twigs and bushes. And in a little bit, I'm gonna show you what we've been dealing with. But we did take care of this part and um, we're real excited. This is the only side we have marked. We've yet to do the other side in the back yet, but that's coming um, here in the next few days. Anyway, let me show you the work we have accomplished. So one of the things we needed to do was we needed to create a culvert because we were having some supplies brought in. And this was uh, last week. And so what we did is we took twigs and, and logs and leaves and, and whatever we could and we filled the culvert with that on a temporary basis. And then the truck was able to get between the road, the dip, and the property. And so we did that and it, it worked out fairly good except the truck that was delivering the product on day two, it got stuck. Why did it get stuck? Because it rained the night before and it created a mud within the clay. And so um, the first load that appeared on the day before, it, it got laid out and no problems. The second load, not only did the truck get stuck in the driveway and Lee had to pull it out um, or help it get pulled out backwards, he gave another running start and he took off on the property, which created a lot of grooves within the property that we had already spent time um, smoothing out. And so we're going to have to fix that. And Lee's going to fix that later today with this very small tractor that we purchased. We'll show you that here in a little bit as well. And so, um, but when he delivered that wood, there was a mishap that happened. As he tilted down, the load got stuck and then it came down fast, crashing hard, tilting, getting all screwed up and the truck pulled forward. It kind of fell into place, but one piece got set way off beyond all the others. And so um, a couple of days ago, Lee took the little tractor and he pushed that um, load of uh, lumber closer to the group and it turned out really, really nice. In the meantime, we had to clear out all of the sticks and logs and brush that we put in the culvert pipe in order for the actual guy to come and put the culvert pipe in and make us a nice driveway. So we cleared that all up and if you can see behind me, he has got the pipe in place and he's got the passage across the top. Here's the loads that we had delivered. And um, you can see that Lee has put them nicely all together. We've covered them in case of rain, although they are covered in plastic. Some of the plastic has holes in them, so we wanted to make sure no rain could get to them until we can put them up. What you're seeing here is um, there are some prefab garages and there are some prefab sheds that we are going to put up on the property. 
in about a week or so we're going to bring the RV onto this property and probably park it somewhere in this vicinity unless we can get the other part of the um, property smoothed out. Now we've been working for a very very long time to get things cleared. There's things cleared over here and there's things cleared over this direction and so I guess before I show you the total clearing of it, I want to show you what we've been dealing with. What you're seeing is the property before we've done any of the clearing. This is the section that we have yet to do. And as you can see, it's a mess. There's lots of tall weeds, there's these little trees, and there's some big trees. But the problem with this property isn't that there's things we need to clear. There are thorns. These are thorn trees. And I don't know how well you can see that, but each one of these are thorns. And they run up and down the tree. And these are little trees. The big trees have them going all the way down, but they also have these dead branches that kind of hang over. So first we have to get those dead branches off and clear the big trees up high. And I'm going to show you one that we've cleared here in just a minute. And then after we do that, <clears throat> we need to make sure that everything else is cleared around it. These are the locust trees. and. Um, there's male and female locust trees. The male locusts, I think it's the male, have thorns all down the trunk. And the females do not. Some have longer thorns than others. Beyond what we're looking at, this bigger tree up there, I think, is the bodart tree. It has another name, and it's called the uh, Osage Orange Tree. They call them all kinds of names. They have these really big, gigantic balls that are hard as a rock that, that are in these trees. Thorns are everywhere. If it's not this um, Osage tree or this locust. locust tree, there are wild roses growing. So there's vines of thorns everywhere. And if it's not them, there's these other things. They're vines of berries of some sort. And um, so, almost everything oh and also deep in inward there are these real big gigantic um, um, cockleburs cockleburs oh my goodness you're gonna get to see those in time anyway you can see we've been dealing with an awful lot of things my thinking is is that after Adam and Eve got kicked out of the garden and God said that you will work the land and it will be for uh, full of thorns and thistles. He was referring to this property. One of the other disadvantages, as I mentioned, are anthills. Now, when you think of anthills, you might think of what I think of, a little tiny hill where there's ants. But no, the anthills here are like this tall. If you check out the picture I've posted, you'll see. They're huge. There are different kinds of ants here. There are carpenter ants, and there are, there are fire ants, and then there's another kind of ant, we're not sure what it is, but the fire ants are really, really bad. And uh, they will, if you disturb their nest, they will come and actually try to attack you. The carpenter ants um, are big ants with wings, and uh, anyway, there are mounds everywhere. Dozens of mounds everywhere. So we keep ant killer with us, we stab the hole, we pour the ant food in there, and um, we <laughs> we've done our best to uh, not get bitten. But there's also spiders and snakes, and luckily we've only seen one snake, a little baby snake. We're not exactly sure what it is. Somebody told us it was a copperhead, but I do not think it is. Um, because they didn't see it, we just tried to explain it to them. Um, but we're not going to take any chances either. And uh, then what else have we seen? The caterpillars with the green stripes. <gasps> the caterpillars. There are different kinds of caterpillars. There's green caterpillars, little tiny green caterpillars, big gigantic horn green caterpillars. Somebody showed me those were tomato 
caterpillars but there are no tomato plants anywhere to be found around here so and then there are these little kind of tan color um, I don't know caterpillars that kind of got little hair on them uh, we believe that those are the ones they told us do not touch because the asp. yes the asp caterpillar ASP and um, then there's some black furry caterpillars and then there is uh, um, well nope that's all the caterpillars I think we've seen um, and then we did take a picture of the spider <laughs> so um, it's been fun and uh, I guess you could say that it takes a very brave person to come out and decide to clear a piece of property um, when they're from the city <laughs> either brave or crazy I'm not sure which <laughs>